in shock when you're in the cage, kind of letting it sink in. I know it hasn't been that long, but has it sunk in a little bit? And, and, and what is the emotion for you at this moment? Uh, just gratitude. Um, yeah, it's been a rough week <laughs> um, up until, you know, the fight started. It was just uh, seemed like everything was, you know, trying to distract me and, and be thrown in my face and uh, just, you know, but everything, I just kept listening to my coaches and um, just trusting them, trusting myself, and, you know, I got the job done. We talk about being a rough week. Was it just, like, the way she was acting towards you all week and the way things were playing, or were there other things happening as well? Yeah, that was part of it, you know, um, but just, you know, getting my flight delayed and, you know, just little things here and there, um, all the sirens outside, <laughs> not being able to sleep very well, you know, just not – playing my walkouts, just everything that, you know, you're thinking, like, this is not my moment, you know, but, uh, you know, I just didn't pay attention to that, you know, didn't let it stop me. We didn't know until just recently they played the wrong walkout song for you, so yeah. what's that like? I mean, all these things are going wrong, or is there the one last minute of self-doubt, like, what else? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been, you know, the one thing that I, uh, that kept me calm was, like, I've been in situations like this where I felt like, you know, Things wasn't running smooth, and um, I've learned from those. So, you know, uh, I just kept telling myself to stay calm and, you know, just don't pay attention to these outside things that I can't control. All I can control is myself and uh, just keep having a, a positive attitude. Once you got in there, the performance was incredible. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know you said that you thought you'd get the finish and all that, but, I mean, did you ever see going in there and, and, and dominating her on the feet the way you did? Um. I had a feeling that I was going to knock her out in the third round. Uh, so for it to happen in the first is great, you know. Especially it's kind of a weird uh, weird coincidence, but it happened at three minutes and three seconds, which is our gym name and our area code, of, you know, Denver, which, you know, I can't wait to get back to. Uh, so it just, I don't know, man. Just, it's amazing. <laughs> Hey, last thing for me, Rose, I'm yeah. sure you'll want to enjoy the moment, uh, but we always ask the champions, you know, what do they want next? So, I mean, do you think about what comes after this? Is does a rematch with her entice you to, to make sure that, you know, everybody knows it wasn't a fluke? Do you see other top contenders? What, what do you think does come next? Uh, just taking some time off and just one day at a time, you know. Uh, this is definitely a huge kind of change of pace or, I guess, a, a change, a new chapter in my life. So, just kind of have to assess things when talk with my coaches and stuff like that um you know as far as a rematch i think yoana herself might need some time off as well a question here yoana congratulations on the belt first thank and you <laughs> after the fight you said to joe rogan <clears throat> this belt doesn't mean anything be a good person yeah so now that you're a champion and you can reach a great